Welcome to the video lecture on periodic and uh, periodic signals. A continuous time signal x of t is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition x of t must be equal to x of t plus capital T. Clearly this condition should be satisfied for all t. So here the lowercase letter t represents the time and where in the uppercase letter t represents it should it should be any positive constant so this is any positive constant so for example this condition is satisfied for t equals to t naught and then this should be also satisfied for 2 t naught 3 t naught and so on the smallest value of t which satisfies this condition is known as the fundamental period of x of t so I said the smallest value of t which satisfies this condition is known as the fundamental period of x of t. This fundamental period t defines the duration of one complete cycle of x of t. So now the reciprocal of the fundamental period is known as is known as the fundamental frequency. I'm writing the same thing the reciprocal of fundamental period is known as the fundamental frequency so which is equals to 1 over t so now uh, this, is this is measured in the unit hertz so fundamental frequency tells how frequently the signal repeats itself now we have got another parameter known as angular frequency angular frequency which is represented using the letter omega which is equals to 2 pi f and we know that f is equals to 1 over t so this will be 2 pi divided by t and this is measured in units radians per second so a signal which doesn't satisfy the above equation x of t equals to x of t plus capital T which doesn't satisfy this equation is known as a periodic signal so now we have learnt about periodicity and a periodicity of a signal so now let me draw let me draw an example and we'll try to find whether it is periodic or not so here x-axis represents the time t and y-axis represents a signal x of t and signal is a square wave which looks something like this So this is this is going to be our signal, a continuous time signal. We can observe this is a continuous time signal. So signal looks something like this. So this t will be 0.2, this will be 0.4. On to negative axis it is minus 0.2. Yes, this will be our signal. And if we look closely there is a pattern that keeps repeating itself after some time so we can call this signal as a periodic signal because if we observe from 0 to point 0.2 that is the pattern that keeps repeating that that keeps repeating after some time so we say that the period from 0 to point 0.2 is known as the fundamental period so that will be t equals to 0.2 seconds so if I want to calculate the frequency f equals to 1 divided by 0.2 so which will be 5 Hertz so here the fundamental period talks about the duration of one complete cycle which is equals to 0.2 in this case and frequency which we got is 5 Hertz so that talks about how frequently the signal repeats itself therefore these kind of signals are known as periodic signals so these kind of signals are known as periodic signals so let me draw and another di and another signal wherein x axis represents time t and y axis represents a continuous time signal x of t and the signal is a square wave which looks something like this so this is going to be the time t so this is our signal so if you look closely the signal 
starts and signal ends at some point but the pattern is not going to repeat so these kind of signals are known as a periodic signals here there is no pattern at all even though there is a pattern it is not repeating the main thing is the signal is not repeating itself so these kind of signals are known as a periodic signals and they are also called as non periodic signals they are known as non periodic signals so now we'll consider periodic and aperiodic signals with respect to discrete time signals a signal discrete time signal is said to be periodic if it satisfies this condition x of n must be equal to x of n plus capital n so wherein n is the lower case letter n is an integer so n is an integer this is the clear difference between a continuous time signal and a discrete time signal in case of continuous time signal it was for all t and in case of discrete time signal it is only integer and capital n is capital n is a positive integer so now this is a positive integer the smallest integer n for which this condition is satisfied is known as the fundamental period of discrete time signal so this is known as fundamental period and we have got another concept known as fundamental frequency again fundamental frequency is equals to 1 over n and we have got another parameter known as the angular frequency of a discrete time signal so angular frequency omega is equals to 2 pi over n and 2 pi over n and this is measured in the units of radians and a and a signal which doesn't satisfy this this condition is known as a periodic signal to understand this better let me draw let me draw a signal wherein x axis represents the time n and y axis represents the signal x of n and our signal looks something like this so this is our signal to be precise a discrete time signal so if you observe closely it is not continuous the signal is not defined for all time it is a discrete time signal signal looks something like this so now so let the time be 0 1 2 3 4 5 5 and so on and on negative axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on so if you look closely there is a pattern there is a pattern that keeps repeating after some time so signals of this type are known as periodic signals periodic discrete time signals so these type of signals are known as periodic so let me draw another signal wherein the x axis represents the time n y axis represents the signal x of n and the signal looks something like this so this is a discrete time signal this this is 0 1 and minus 1 the signal starts at minus 1 and ends at 1 so that discrete time signals of this type are known as a periodic signals because there is a pattern but it never repeats the signal starts and the signal ends so these type of signals are known as a periodic signals so i said these type of signals are known as a periodic signals and they are again also known as non periodic signals so they are known as non periodic signals